It really kind of makes me feel good inside and just to, to see some of the old goals that I had set for myself back when I was a teenager and say, you know what, I've actually achieved those goals. And it was all because of just persistence and hard work and getting around the right people who could help me to, you know, make these goals a reality. I've got something really cool to share with you. Now, I mean, as you can see, right here on the floor, I have a pile of notebooks. And these aren't just any notebooks. These are copies of my old workout journals, my old goal setting journals. Um, how I ended up getting these was my dad is actually in the process of doing renovations over at his house. And he was stripping out the closets and stuff like that. And he came across this box of books. And when he seen it, he said, oh man, he gotta, he gotta give it to me. So he brought it over just a couple days ago. And I've been going through these books and it, it's brought back so many memories. I mean, some of this stuff, it, it's like this right here. This is the handwritten notes for my very first bodybuilding book that I wrote back I think I started this in 1996, and it was for a fat loss program that I had called Living Lean. And this is the first draft of Living Lean, where I was writing it out, handwritten. Because back then, I never even had a computer. I didn't even know how to type. So I started my very first draft, writing it out by hand, and then I got access to a computer and typed it out. So, I mean, this, this it's awesome to see. What else we got here? Just some other, like, uh, Goal setting books. This this is a, a goal list that I had written for myself back in 1998, November 18. Just go over and have a look at some of this stuff. I had a goal. I wanted to earn $250,000 a year. That's a goal that I set for myself back then. I wanted to be a lean 200 pounds body weight. I wanted to go out with a beautiful girl. I actually written that down as a goal to go out with a beautiful girl. And I have a beautiful girl who's holding the camera for me right now. Thank you very much. Oh man, it's just, it's, it's just awesome to see some of this stuff. These are, are goals that I had taken and, and written from going through uh, Anthony Robbins uh, Unlimited Power Goal Setting Workshop. So that's what I did. And I've done that workshop multiple times. You know, I started doing it as a teenager in high school. I did it, I, pr I think I pretty much redid it every year uh, throughout high school, throughout my days in college. I used to redo it in my 20s. But that's where I got started, writing down some of these goals. And, and some of this stuff I've achieved, like, you know, as I mentioned, the, the financial goals. I've actually achieved those financial goals, which is really cool. I've achieved the, the girl goals, which is behind the camera there. <laughs> I've achieved the, the bodybuilding goals, so it's awesome. Well, that, let me clarify that. Some of the bodybuilding goals I did not achieve, because I did at one time have a goal to become a professional bodybuilder, to win the Mr. Olympia, which I was striving to do, but I didn't realize what professional bodybuilding entailed at the time. So, uh, I mean, I, I was so naive. I thought you could win the Mr. Olympia natural if you just worked hard enough. You know, if you put in the work, you stick to your diet, you train consistently, I thought you could become a Mr. Olympia 100% natural. Now I realize it's, it's kind of impossible to even become a pro bodybuilder natural, let alone a, a Mr. Olympia, but it's besides the point. Let's just go through some of this stuff. This is kind of a blast from the past. Again, another goal setting, uh, workshop from when I was starting some of my first businesses. And I've tried a lot of different businesses over the years. This one, I'm kind of not too proud to say it, but I will. I was involved with Amway for a while, <laughs> back in the day. Back in, I think it was in 1999, I was involved with Amway. And I worked that for a year before I decided to say, you know what, this ain't for me. I decided to call it quits, but this is some goals and some notes that I had from there. Some of this stuff is, is notebooks from when I was in school, because what I went to school for in college was to study computers. And this is a notebook from my networking class on how to set up uh, computer networks, that is. You know, like how to you know, do the settings and the, set up the adapters and the protocols and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've, I've long since forgotten about this because I haven't used it since the late 90s when I was in college. Unlimited Power, this is a notebook, again, I remember I was telling you about when I was uh, studying some of Anthony Robbins courses and, and I was very you know fortunate to have access to that at a young age because this was before the internet like there was no 
no computers, no internet, so the information wasn't as accessible as it is today. But I was fortunate enough that my dad had ordered uh, some of Anthony Robbins cassette tapes back in the day. And he had them on the shelf. And he obviously, when he was younger, went through them, but kind of put his goals to the back burner, I guess raising a family and everything else. And he had this, the cassettes on the shelf. And I took the initiative to go listen to those cassettes. And I can remember listening to them every day, like before school, every morning, I would listen to an Anthony Robbins cassette tape. And I did that day after day after day until I literally wore out those cassette tapes. But I was going through it and kind of trying to program my mind with this positive information of, of being a successful person, of goal setting, of having a vision for my life, not just kind of going through the the day-to-day -day motions of, you know, go to school and then go, you know, get a get a degree, get a job, and just go through the plain old motions. I wanted to have some, some more substance to my life. So that's why I was really passionate about doing these different goal setting exercises, having some vision, and I was committed to it. I mean, I wrote those goals down, and when I'm looking through it, a lot of these goals I've achieved. I've achieved a lot of them. Some of them I haven't, because some of them were kind of just absurd goals or at the time I thought they were important but as I've matured they weren't I had a goal here to become a millionaire and I've actually achieved that you know generated enough income through my online business and through helping people through coaching that I've taken that money and then went ahead and invested it into real estate and through my real estate investments I've actually had the point now where I have over a million dollars in net worth so I mean that's one of the goals that I've achieved I had a goal to have a son I have that written down here in this goal setting workshop. I wanted, to, I wanted to be a father, have a son, and that's a goal that we've achieved recently. So it really brings back a lot of memories to see this stuff, right? It really does. And it's like I say, I could get lost in this for, for hours. Oh, this is something that a lot of people would like. This is a diet log from one of my first bodybuilding competitions. Back in the day, there was no fitness, like my fitness pal. There wasn't, you know, online trackers for counting your macros. So what did we do? We use pen and paper, and here's some of my diets. Let's check this out. I'm pretty sure this was back in the late 90s, maybe around 2000. Protein shake with two scoops, one banana, one slice of, one slice of turkey breast, one potato, a bowl of mixed vegetables, and I have the macros all added up there. Uh, for my snack, I had a meal replacement burger and an apple. <laughs> this was January 4th, I believe, in January 4th, maybe, of 1999. I wrote down what I ate for all those meals back then. And I also wrote down workout logs from back then. Every single workout that I did, I wrote it down in a journal like this. I'm sure there's probably bound to be some of them in here. Oh, I can remember this. This was a notebook from one of the first business projects that I did back in around 2000, 2001. I was designing a website for a local uh, a local supplement store, and these are some notes that I had. It's one of the projects that I did, because in addition, like my background, just kind of give you a, an update on this. I started off. I went to school to study computers because when I was in high school, uh, I didn't know how to use a computer. Like I said, I wrote out my first draft of my bodybuilding book by hand on a pad of paper. So in high school, I went through not even knowing how to use a computer. So right after high school, I said, you know what, I need to learn computers because I think this is kind of going to be the way of the future, which that was a pretty good prediction because it kind of is. You're watching this on a computer or some sort of electronic device connected to the internet. Uh, so anyway, I, I said I need to go study computers. So I went to college and I did some basic computer courses, just learned how to type, learned how to use like Microsoft Office and, and PowerPoint and, and, and all that stuff, learned the basics. And then I went into a structured computer studies course where we went in and studied like networking and programming and as well as some other basics. But one course there that really stood out for me was part of that computer studies course that I was doing back in 1997. It had a website development course. So the course that I did taught, taught you how to design a HTML website. So what I did is I took my passion of bodybuilding and I created my very first website. And it was just some basic stuff showing some exercises and, and some, you know, the, the different terminology for bodybuilding. But I took that website and I actually posted it online. So back in 1997, I started my very first website. It wasn't Lee Hayward's Total Fitness Bodybuilding. It was a more even basic version than that back then. But that's when I got started. And it just kind of grew from there. Because back in those days, there was nothing online. I can remember my very first time sitting in the computer lab at Keyan College. I sat there and, and there was a guy next to me, I can remember his name, he was, his name was Paul. 
And I said, Paul, how do you use the internet? I've never been on the internet before. How do you use it? And he said, you know what? You go to Yahoo and you search for something. And this was back before the days of Google. There, there was no Google, there was no YouTube, there was none of that stuff. So I went to Yahoo and I typed in bodybuilding and nothing came up. Nothing. I mean, there was a couple like sites that had like definitions and things like that. So they said like bodybuilding is building your muscles by lifting weights or, or some crap like that. But there was no bodybuilding websites. So I even went and I typed in bodybuilding.com. Nothing. Nothing came up. I mean, there, it was like literally, it was just imagine going to the internet and typing stuff in and nothing is there. <laughs> like, that's where it was when it came to bodybuilding and fitness. So when I started my very first website back then, I was getting a lot of, of attention and attraction even though it was a very basic site because anybody who worked out, anybody who had an internet, internet connection, they knew who Lee Hayward was back in the early 2000s because I was one of the few sites out there. So that's how I got started. I was literally a pioneer to this whole online bodybuilding fitness industry and it just really snowballed from there. But it, it's, it's, it's awesome to go back over some of this stuff and to just see where it's all came from and how it's evolved over the years. Because I mean, I went from being one of the, the very first bodybuilding and fitness websites online to now we have an, an industry that is just exploding. I mean, there are thousands, if not millions, of bodybuilding and fitness websites out there. And it's, it's just crazy to think where it's going to be in the future. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to share some of this because it's, it's just a really cool trip down memory lane. I mean, I've... I, it's, it's, it really kind of makes me feel good inside and just to, to see some of the old goals that I had set for myself back when I was a teenager and say, you know what, I've actually achieved those goals. I've achieved those. And, and it was all because of just persistence and hard work and getting around the right people who could help me to you know, make these goals a reality. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun putting it together. And I'm so thankful that my dad actually found these books and brought them over to me because I thought they were, were long gone, you know, maybe thrown in the trash and lost forever. I mean, I had no idea that he still had these stuffed away in a cardboard box down in the, in the bottom of the closet. So when he brought them over and I could just go through them, I mean, it brought back so many memories and so much emotion of, of like where I've been and, and stuff that, that at one time was just a dream or a goal or a vision that's now part of my day-to-day -day life. And it's just, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting to see that. And I'm looking forward to the day where maybe like in 20 years from now, I can look back at the goals that I have for myself right now and look back at those goals in the same way that I'm looking back at these goals that I just shared with you. So again, uh, if, you, if you enjoy this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know, post any comments or feedback down in the comment section below. I always love hearing your, your feedback and having a discussion with you. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, videos where we're talking about more than just bodybuilding in terms of, you know, working out and nutrition and stuff like that, but getting into some deeper topics, you know, things of like personal development, uh, improving your communication skills, goal setting, and becoming the best version of yourself. If this is something that you're interested in, hey, let me know down in the comments section below and I can make more videos about this. I mean, there's, there's so much more that we could talk about besides working out and nutrition. I mean, there's a whole world out there of other areas and other topics that are directly related. I mean, I think building your body, bodybuilding, is the foundation, but again, it's, there's so much more. You know, building the best version of yourself, total fitness bodybuilding, that's what I refer to it as. I think there's so much more and I would love to talk about it with you. But again, if you would like to see more of this, let me know down in the comment section below and we can discuss it down there. Hope you enjoyed it. Have yourself a fantastic day. If you haven't already done so, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Take care, over and out.